Okay, so I'm Stephen Hart from Leeds Mindfulness. Uh, Pre-pandemic, we met at Inkwell and we hope to meet at Inkwell and hope to see you all um, in the flesh, as it were. Um, in the meantime, let's share some meditation. So today's meditation is going to be the self-nurturing, loving-kindness meditation, where we primarily focus on a sense of connection with nurturing and kindness for ourselves which is very important in these uncertain times that we do top up our resilience by being kind to ourselves, by remembering that, we, that we're important and that if we look after ourselves, then we have more capacity to look after our others. As the, um, as the um, Cistercians, the Christian Cistercian tradition at Kirk's Labby, I used to say, your nearest neighbour is yourself. Um, so basically having loving kindness towards yourself is very important. So I'll just guide us through a short self-nurturing practice. So to begin with, just finding yourself a comfortable posture, such as sitting in a straight back chair with your hands resting on your lap and your eyes closing. Just letting the chair or the mattress or the yoga mat just take your weight so that you're held very carefully and tenderly by the environment and just relaxing into being supported by your chair or floor, whatever you're using as the space for support. as though that were an act of kindness from the universe itself towards you. Then imagine a flower at the heart centre, a visualised flower, your favourite flower from your garden or from outside in nature. Imagine a flower blooming at your heart centre, opening at the heart centre. And this flower radiates loving kindness and warmth, light, colour. And this goes, this kindness goes deep into the body. So that the whole of your body is being received by kindness. Particularly parts of your body might feel a bit tight or tense. Let them be suffused with loving kindness. And as kindness encounters parts of your body that feel relaxed, that feel okay, just having a sense of delight in that. So tense bits or painful bits and kind parts of the body, sorry, relaxed parts of the body are met with kindness. And that kindness goes deeper into your feelings and your thoughts. Using your imagination to have the whole of your experience being tenderly received by kindly awareness, by loving kindness. And if there are parts of our experience that are difficult, such as in feelings or thoughts, just with awareness and tenderness, just embracing those difficulties, meeting them with mercy, with loving kindness. And you might want to use some affirmations such as, as you breathe in, may I be well, breathing out. Breathing in, may I be happier, breathing out. 
Breathing in, every say, content, fulfilled. Breathing out. So you're wishing yourself the very best. And then just radiating that kindness outwards towards the people in your family and communities. May they also receive kindness, wellness, well-being, love, fulfilment, support, whatever qualities people need. Just radiate a sense of that outwards so that our kindness becomes more universal. And then slowly coming back to the body. And just coming back to your environment slowly, moving into your next task with mindfulness. Thank you.